everybody gets a crown. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Amanya and I make conservative content here on this channel. And today we are talking about beauty queens or beauty queens or beauty dressed up as a beast. Hey! <laughs> so today we're talking about a person who has won the first male transgender trans woman. I hate to call trans woman because they're not really women. They're not really women. So I don't like to say trans woman. So this person has become the first transgender to win a teen pageant, Miss USA pageant. So if you're interested in um, hearing more about this, please stay tuned. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and check out my website where you can support the channel through uh, Orlando Patriot, where I sell patriotic merchandise, t-shirts, flags, and so on. Thank you so much for the support. So first, I wanted us to get a, a short clip of uh, this person. And so you can see all of their ladylike qualities um, here in this video. And then we're going to Twitter over to Twitter so we can see more about this ladylike uh, person. So let us take a look and see exactly what this is. gracefulness and femininity at its finest. I'm guessing from this pose, he's trying to put his penis back in place. <laughs> it looks like it's getting ready to pop. What the hell? Watch out! It's the seduction scene. I'm ready for my close-up. I mean, this is utter ridiculousness. Look at this little girl right here, Miss Ports, Miss Ports Mountain. Well, her right here, this one, this pretty little girl right next to this monsoon. Look, this person makes three of this little girl. Three of this little girl. It's insanity. Look at their, their la smiling faces participating in their own doom. Well, you know what? These are minor children. I blame their mothers. Where is the mothers to stand up for their daughters, to stand up for their girl? Where is mama? Mama is not standing up for you. Mama is not fighting for you. Where's grandma? Grandma had fire in her once before. Grandma fought for a, for a lot. Great grandma too. Your mama has failed you. Look at this monsoon. So because of all this, I decided to go on the Miss America website to just browse around a little. And I came up with their newest crowned queen. This one is an actual woman, I believe. Um, but I found this quote to be interesting. This is what uh, the new Miss America had to say. I want to use my platform to promote inclusion, open-mindedness, open and empathy, 
especially because of the world that we are in today. So if this isn't saying we welcome Tom, Dick, Harry, as long as you got lipstick and a wig on, you're, you're welcome into this party. That's what they're saying. We welcome open-mindedness and empathy. So maybe next year, lady, a man is going to win you out. Or if you decide to go for the Miss Universe, a man will take that crown from you. And if you decide to become Miss USA, they'll take that crown from you too. You know, what's really frustrating and disappointing about all of this is that the, the actual women on the stage, they're actually holding up this man. They're holding his hand and presenting him. They are clapping like stupid, stupid dum-dums. How do you participate in your own extinction? Don't you realize, women out there in the world, don't you realize that this man is taking something away from you? Where are the feminists, the women who believe in women? What has happened to women? We used to be strong individuals. We used to fight for our rights. Why aren't we fighting for our rights? Why are we letting this man take over our space? Why are we letting men in women's bathrooms? Why are we doing that? Why aren't we standing up and fighting back? This is ridiculous. And it needs to stop. Women, you need to stand up. We need to stand up. And right here, I'm standing up. And I pray to God that more women stand up and start to speak. If we boycott things, they, they can't get away with this. They can't get away with this. We have to stand up and fight. Everybody gets around. <laughs>